In a split second, gravity takes over. When the eigenvalues turn positive, disaster is inevitable. Unless you know the mathematics of survival. Unlock the code of flight at our digital institution. All right, let's get into it. We're going to explore the invisible math that keeps airplanes flying. You know, you see the metal, you hear the roar of the engines, but the real guardian angel of modern flight, it's a bunch of equations. And hidden inside them is one very, very special number that literally decides between a safe trip and a total catastrophe. So here's a wild thought to kick us off. Why would anyone build a multi-million dollar fighter jet that, if you just let it go, actually wants to tumble out of the sky? It sounds completely insane, right? Well. That paradox, that's the secret to their mind-bending performance, and it's the perfect place for us to start. So check this out. An older plane, think of a Cessna, is built to be stable. If a gust of wind hits it, the plane kind of just wants to correct itself and fly straight again. It's forgiving. But a modern fighter, like an F-16, it's the complete opposite. It is designed to be unstable. To really get why, we need to see how engineers take the messy, chaotic forces of flight and turn them into the clean, elegant language of math. Okay, so if you want to control something as complex as an airplane, you have to capture every single force acting on it. We're talking lift, drag, thrust, gravity, all the twisting forces that make it roll and pitch. You have to take all of that crazy physics and somehow boil it all down into one single powerful mathematical thing. And this is it. This neat little equation right here is basically a mathematical snapshot of the plane in flight. It describes how everything about the plane, its speed, its angle, you name it, changes from one moment to the next. But the real secret, the key to this whole thing, is hiding in plain sight. It's inside that first part, the system matrix, that letter A. Yeah, you can think of this A matrix as the plane's DNA. It's packed with dozens of numbers that describe every little personality quirk of the aircraft. How much does it want to pitch up when it does this, or yaw when it does that? There's a number for it in the matrix. And buried inside this DNA is a secret code that basically predicts the future of the flight. So how do you read that code? I mean, you can't just stare at a block of numbers and know what's going to happen. You need a key. You need a special kind of number that unlocks the true, hidden behavior of the whole system. And that key has a name. It's called an eigenvalue. An eigenvalue, that Greek letter lambda you see there, it's like the system's destiny, all boiled down to a number. For any A matrix, you can calculate its unique set of eigenvalues. And these numbers will tell you, with absolute mathematical certainty, if a tiny little bump is going to fade away or grow into a full-blown disaster. And they usually show up as something called a complex number. Now, I know, this might look a little scary if you haven't seen it in a while, but hang with me. It's actually pretty simple. It has two parts, a real part, that's sigma, and an imaginary part, omega. The omega just tells you if the plane is going to wobble or oscillate, but only one of these parts is the one that makes all the difference, the one that separates a safe flight from a catastrophe. And it all comes down to this guy, the real part, sigma. Everything, and I mean absolutely everything, hinges on the sign of this one number. Is it positive or is it negative? And this chart just lays it all out. It's totally black and white. If your sigma is negative, any disturbance, a bit of turbulence, whatever, it just fades away. The plane settles down, you're safe. But if that sigma is positive, even the tiniest disturbance grows and grows and grows exponentially. A little wobble becomes a violent shake. A small bank turns into an uncontrollable dive. That's danger. The sign of sigma is the mathematical line between life and death. What's really cool is that these eigenvalues do more than just give a thumbs up or thumbs down on stability. They actually describe the specific ways a plane moves through the air. You know, the feelings. Pilots and engineers call these modes of motion, and every single mode is directly connected to a specific eigenvalue. This table really connects the abstract math to what a pilot actually feels in the cockpit. So a negative real number means the plane just smoothly levels its wings. A complex number with a negative real part means it might wobble a bit, but it'll calm down. But look at that third row, a positive real eigenvalue. That means the plane will just drift further and further and further off course. And a classic, absolutely terrifying example of that is the spiral dive. 
This is the ultimate horrifying example of a positive sigma in action. The instability is so slow, so subtle, that if you're flying in the clouds, your body can't even feel it. Your inner ear is completely fooled, but the math doesn't care about your feelings. That positive eigenvalue guarantees that the bank gets steeper and steeper, pulling the plane into a dive it can't recover from. Okay, so let's circle all the way back to our original mystery. If a positive eigenvalue is so ridiculously dangerous, why in the world would engineers build an F-16 to have one on purpose? Why would you build this unstable beast? Two words, performance. See, on a stable plane, the tail has to push down to keep the nose from diving. That means the wings have to work overtime, creating extra lift just to fight the tail. It's super inefficient. But on an unstable plane, the tail pushes up, helping the wings lift. This tiny change means way less drag, way better fuel efficiency, and for a fighter jet, the ability to turn on a dime. The catch? No human can fly it on their own. So this is where the magic happens. The plane's natural, unstable personality is described by that matrix A. But a flight computer is constantly calculating tiny, tiny adjustments. That's the correction U. And it's doing this hundreds of times a second. By feeding those corrections back into the system, it mathematically creates a brand new airplane, a new system, represented by that A minus BK. And this new virtual plane has been perfectly designed to have safe, stable, negative eigenvalues. They call this technique Pole placement. Poles is just another fancy word for eigenvalues here. The computer isn't just helping the pilot out. It is fundamentally rewriting the physics of that aircraft in real time. It's literally grabbing the plane's destiny from the dangerous positive side of the chart and dragging it over to the safe negative side. And the stakes are just unbelievable. For an F-16, that unstable eigenvalue is so powerful that if its computers failed, any tiny flight error would double in size in just two tenths of a second. That's literally faster than you can blink. The pilot wouldn't even have time to react before the plane was out of control. And this is not just a what-if scenario. There were famous crashes during the testing of jets like the YF-22 and the Swedish Gripen. And it wasn't because the math was wrong. It was because the computer was demanding corrections so incredibly fast that the physical parts, the hydraulics and control surfaces, couldn't keep up. It was a brutal reminder that even the most brilliant math has to play by the rules of the real world. And that really brings us to the big takeaway here. This isn't just some cool trick for fighter jets. This whole idea of using math to actively stabilize a system is a silent, invisible guardian that is protecting people in the sky every single day. Every single modern airliner uses these exact same principles in its autopilot. Next time you're on a flight and you hit some turbulence and you feel the plane make this incredibly smooth, crisp correction, that's not just the pilot, that is the triumph of a well-placed negative eigenvalue calculated and controlled by a computer. It's linear algebra keeping your flight safe. And when you think about it, this core idea, taking something that's naturally unstable and using lightning fast feedback and math to make it stable and useful, it's everywhere. It's how modern robotics work, it's used in huge chemical plants, even in models of the economy. It just makes you wonder, right? What other invisible math is out there, silently running our world, turning chaos into order? <laughs>